back in California, we find ourselves on the biggest site of wind energy in the world, Tahachapi. Perched on the crests of hills, the windmills turn wind energy into electricity. Did you know that the wind energy market has been increasing by more than 30% a year in the world? This forest of windmills before us is incredible. The state of California has always been a state at the vanguard of all renewable energy sources. All these windmills can provide electricity for 200,000 houses. 200,000 houses. I think that's magnificent. Some people don't like windmills. I find them beautiful. Plus, there's the practical side I like. They're a bit like great big daisies in a field. If we want to reduce the pressure of man on the world, particularly his polluting energies, we are going to have to get used to new landscapes. Moreover, wind energy is a new and fascinating job. I'm happy to be here. We're 55 meters high on a very big windmill. There are 5,000 windmills around us, and I often hear said, oh, windmills, they make a terrible noise, it's unbearable. But honestly, it's just like the wind in the trees. I'm with Ed Duggan, who is a fan. So, Ed, your passion is wind. Yes, it is. Uh, when I was graduating school, we were just starting to have uh, major energy shortages in the United States, and I had to make a choice on what sort of a career I would follow, and I looked at wind energy, and it's like, what a neat thing. I mean, making energy from just the wind with no fuel, no pollution, and I'm glad I've been doing it for over 20 years, and I'm really happy I chose this direction. What's the minimum amount of wind you need to power a windmill? The minimum wind uh, for a wind turbine to run, to start turning, would be just under 10 kilometers per hour. Uh, the minimum wind average for a wind turbine to be viable on a long-term basis would be probably uh, 20 kilometers per 20 hour. Kilometers. France is very well placed to develop wind energy. With its windy plateau and coastline, France has the second highest potential in Europe. And yet we don't use this form of energy much. In Denmark, 20% of their energy comes already from the wind. If we were very utopian or very optimistic, are there enough windy places in the United States to provide electricity for all Americans through wind power? I think uh, we can uh, produce a very large percentage of the country's energy from wind. Uh, I don't think it'll ever be all of what we use, but I think we could do uh, 30, 40, 50 percent of the annual energy usage uh, from wind here in the U.S. Do you think there's enough wind in the world to provide electricity for everyone? Yes, I think there's enough. Uh, I think it's going to take a long time. I think that wind will continue to play a bigger and bigger role in the world, electricity supply, as time goes on. That's what I like. Ecological engineers like Ed, who are great utopians. I'm convinced that utopias often make things advance. We are living in a time of worrying crisis, but also of unprecedented opportunity.